In this tutorial, we're going to review how to review, uh, remove the background from an image and then use a different background on it. Um, you've seen it, I'm sure, on a number of different blogs, websites, Facebook, things like that where people can take themselves or someone out of an image and place them in a different setting. And we're going to show you how to do that here. Uh, we've got Grumpy Cat right here and to try to make Grumpy Cat a little bit happier we're going to go and put them on the beach over here. So before we can do that we need to get rid of all of the uh, the background so we're just left with his actual shape and form right here. There's a few ways we can do it. We could edit it right on this page about really in case we make some mistakes I'd rather not uh, make any uh, changes to the source image itself, so instead I'm going to hit Command A, which selects all, and then Command C to copy it, and then come over to our other image, hit Command V, and it's going to put us right there. So I'm going to leave them here, and then just zoom in a little bit, and oh, one back. Okay. So now I'm going to get, first I'm just going to get rid of all of the main part of the junk. So this is going to get rid of about 90% of everything right here. And so I grab that polygon selector and just clicking around it and coming back and making a full shape right here. And you can see it selects all of that. Hit delete, and now that's all gone. Gonna come do the same thing on this side. Once again, this isn't removing the background, this is just kind of clearing out the side of it, so we don't need any of that. So now to start getting into it more, there are a few other options. You could come and use the quick selection tool and play around with a few of the other things here like trying to actually select it here but that can get a little bit messy sometimes um, we'll try a little bit smaller we'll try nine come here and you can see that would eventually especially if you hit shift that would kind of get parts of it so I could hit delete there and you can see that's gone and we'd still have to clear that off. Hit delete there. Now this quick selection tool, even though it's nice, as you can see, it doesn't do everything we need. So make sure, and if you're wondering, just make sure you're hitting shift. Uh, if you hit it without hitting shift, it's gonna select everything. So click on the spot you want, to get rid of, hit shift, and then go and delete another piece. And we're making some good headway. See that part right there? That's going to take off too much, so we're going to not do that. And I think we're probably going to use, uh, do the rest of it pretty much by hand get this little piece. As you'll notice it makes it a lot easier when there's a big color distinction. Uh, when there's not, uh, you know, it tries to select everything. You end up cutting parts of the image you really didn't want to cut out. So, uh, next part is going to be to zoom in further and we'll get the eraser tool and just go and start cutting out some of the border that was left. And in addition to me loving Grumpy Cat, the other reason why I picked them is because of the image itself. Has, it's a good one to work from because you saw on the right hand side the, uh, the tool over here, 
the quick selection tool did a great job in picking all that out and then you could just click it hit shift and go all the way down the line and it got rid of all of it for you and you just had to do some basic um, erasing to get rid of the border and you're good to go on this side it's not quite that easy so uh, there's a few other ways you can go about it by just clicking erase and just erasing it that way. Uh, the other thing you can do is select the uh, polygon tool or uh, even the regular lasso tool. I'm personally not talented enough to do that by hand so I'm not going to. But you can select the polygon tool and go and get a nice chunk of it. If I'm doing a big project then a lot of times I will use that uh, the polygon tool a lot. Um, for this one though it's not too much work and so I'm gonna finish off using the eraser for the rest of it just because it gives it a little bit you have, you have a little bit more control over it this way and the um, uh, the polygon tool can kinda give you some lines that don't really look natural when you're doing this make sure that and you can hear my mouse clicking, make sure you're not doing too large a chunks at any one given time because what you'll find out is you will make mistakes. Like say for example I had been holding down my mouse this entire time and my hand slipped and I went right through his face. If I would have been holding down the entire time and when I hit Control Z to undo then it would have uh, taken away all of the work that I just did, which wouldn't have been good and would become very frustrating. So uh, make sure that you just do little tiny pieces and then that will, uh, uh, that's gonna let you have a lot more control and uh, give you a little bit more flexibility so you're not really scared of what happens if you, you know, make one wrong move, so zoom out and you can see here you go you got grumpy cat right here and now he is on the beach we can give him a little bit give him a little banner right here just because we can and we'll give it a little gradient And because he's Grumpy Cat, he has to say something like, let's see. He's Grumpy Cat, so of course, he didn't really appreciate our work, and he hates the beach. But that's perfectly fine, because now you know how to remove backgrounds from images, and you can use this in uh, different projects you have and uh, I found this uh, has come in very handy on a number of different things I've built from websites to uh, to print projects uh, this can give some great effects that uh, you can't do there's a lot of times you'll find images that have a background that uh, you really don't like or you don't want included in your file and this way you can remove it and put any background you want in it and gives uh, a much more professional look and feel so thanks so much for your time if you have any questions feel free to ask